Hello and welcome to yet another episode of the Euroman Movie Report. This show where I talk about a movie I have recently watched at my local movie theater. This week I'm going to talk about The Fast and the Furious 7. And being an old guy, I of course remember when the first Fast and the Furious film came out in uh, 2001. And back then I was 20 years old, but I watched it at uh, my local movie theater. And it was okay, it was a fast paced, it had bikini babes, and um, all in all, a good popcorn flick. But after having watched now the seventh film, I am a bit... Uh, because they, what they did is that they turned these races into superheroes. Now they can yeah, drive down mountain cliffs and jump out of airplanes in their cars and jump from building to building. It, and it's completely silly and I think they should stop making these Fast and the Furious. And uh, this film, of course, was the last appearance by Paul Walker. And... Um, he did an okay job like he did in his previous race. The rest of the cast in this film, they did an okay job too, especially The Rock. And uh, in this film, we saw the return of most of the cast from the previous film, even the, the guy from uh, Tokyo Drift, he makes an appearance. And um, it is entertaining, but I don't know why it has to be so long. It's not the goddamn Lord of the Rings. It should only have been an hour and 45 minutes, but it was over two hours, and that was too long in my opinion. But um, to sum it up, it, uh, if you uh, look past the unbelievable action sequences, it was okay, an okay popcorn flick, but too long, And um, but the acting was uh, somewhat okay, and it, it, of course it had the bikini babes like in the previous film, so uh, yeah. So if I'm gonna rate it, I will say, uh, yeah, 3 out of 5 Coca-Cola bottles. That's it, your main of your main's Moore Report signing off. And don't forget, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to watch any of my previous reviews slash movie talks, you can click the link in the description. Until my next review slash movie talk, have a pleasant weekend, and I'll see you in the next movie review. Bye for now.